Hi everyone, I am Shanmur Ramanan, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering from the Pundisli College of Engineering. This section presents single acting reciprocating pump. At the end of this section, you can be able to know about defined positive displacement pump, working principles of uh, single acting reciprocating pump, and the applications of air vessels, and how to avoid the cavitation in reciprocating pump. First pump, Pump, uh, pump means hydraulic machines which converts the mechanical energy into hydraulic energy which is in the form of pressure energy. So the pumps are classified into mainly two types. One is positive displacement pump and another one is rotodynamic pump. Positive displacement pump means the liquid is sucked into the cylinder and pushed or displaced or crushed by a piston. So the positive displacement pumps are the, so the reciprocating pump is the type of uh, positive displacement pump. The reciprocating pump is classified into single acting reciprocating pump and double acting reciprocating pump. When the liquid is acting at the one side is known as single acting reciprocating pump and the liquid is acting both sides of the cylinder is known as double acting reciprocating pump. And based on the cylinder, single cylinder, double cylinder, triple cylinder. So these are the simple classification of reciprocating pump. Now here we go to discuss about the single acting reciprocating pump. The figure shows the single acting reciprocating pump with air vessels. The main components of single acting reciprocating pump are one is piston, cylinder, piston rod, connecting rod, crank. Here the Section one. So section five. Sum. The air vessel. And this is the delivery valve. This is the delivery pipe. So these are the main components of single acting reciprocating pump. So the piston is moves front and back inside the cylinder. The movement of the piston is obtained by connecting the piston rod and crank by means of connecting the connecting rod. So the connecting rod have two ends. One is small end and another one is the and another one side has the big end. The small end of the connecting rod is connected by piston rod and the big end of the connecting rod is connected to crank. The crank is rotated by means of electric motor. So in the single acting reciprocating pump have two valves, one is suction valve and another one is the delivery valve. These two valves are one, one way valve or um, okay, the, the suction valve and delivery valve are one way valve. There is only one side is allowed and, the, and it is also known as non-returnable valve, non-return valve. So the simple working principle of uh, single acting reciprocating pump are when the crank is moved from A to B, the piston moves from right side right to left. So the partial vacuum is created inside the cylinder. So here the delivery, at the same time here the delivery valve is closed, suction valve is open and the, inside the cylinder the partial vacuum is created. So here the water from the sump is sucked to the suction valve and entered into the cylinder and the rest of the crank is rotated from B to A. The piston moves from right to left. So here the inside the water inside the cylinder is pushed or displaced or crushed by the piston. So here at the here the suction valve is closed and the delivery valve is open. So water from the cylinder is delivered through the delivery valve. So and next here the working principles uh, here the two air vessels are used. So air vessels means here. The air vessel is a closed chamber containing the brush compressed air at the top and the liquid at the bottom. And, the, and here the at base of the chamber has opening because here the air is sorry, liquid is entering or leaving from the chamber. So here when the liquid is entering into the chamber, the air is compressed and the liquid is leaving from the chamber, the air is expanded. 
the, the application of air vessels usually in the reciprocating pumper here to obtain the continuous flow of uh, liquid water at the uniform rate. And next one is how to avoid the cavitation in reciprocating pump. First of all, the cavitation means the formation, phenomenon of formation of vapor bubbles by means of the liquid pressure is below the vapor pressure. So in the reciprocating pump, uh, for if we use the long suction pipe, the, the liquid in the uh, sum is below the vapor pressure. So the there is a maximum possible way to uh, liquid, that is water from the sum is converted into vapor bubbles. Okay. So therefore, how here we go to avoid the cavitation by using the suction pipe is less than 10 meter. It is better for we use 3 to 4, 5 meters pipe for suction pipe is to avoid the cavitation in the reciprocating pump. If there is the cavitation in the single acting reciprocating pump, it affects, uh, it produces the noise and vibrations. Okay. So that's all about the single acting reciprocating pump with the applications of air vessels and avoid cavitation in reciprocating pump. Thank you for watching. Bye.